ESA has this vision of creating an ESA lab, which is an initiative to create a collaborative platform to develop the key technologies for space exploration. The Swiss Space Center is doing the first demonstrator pilot project for ESA lab, and we call it IGLUNA. This is the kickoff event, so we gathered all the students, two students per team, come together here in Switzerland and uh, they start working on their projects. They first get to know each other, get to know each other's projects and understand also the habitats. I got a lot of information about how it's all going to be um, and I'm taking it back to all my teams. We invited Bernard Frank. He's the, he was the principal project scientist that sent the first European mission to the moon, Smart One and he's an expert in lunar habitats. Uh, for me it's very inspiring uh, when Bernard Foyne talks about the Moon Village and how uh, the public engagement and art and si uh, science can merge together and uh, actually that uh, people who are maybe not so much into the engineering field such as me like artists and architects can be a part of this uh, big international project. So from the ESA side we are very uh, uh, pleased that they took up this uh, challenge to uh, create this uh, project as a platform for collaboration between uh, 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 various universities, in particular some that do not come from space world, so they are very open, also from uh, um, also some mid-sized mid countries or small countries. That's a great uh, achievement, but as well, I mean, due to the expertise of the Swiss Space Center, they have also the methodology to help these people to learn, to get up to speed, uh, to work together. We open a platform called My Idea for Space and we invited the whole community to put their ideas for space. Manuel had the winner idea, he had the most votes and uh, we're happy that he's participating now in Igluna with his idea. We want to do 3D printing in space with multiple materials and for that we want to first do it on Earth with uh, metallic parts, which is what we do at uh, LMTM with 3D laser shock pinning. And in the future we want to take a human colony and expand uh, civilization and humankind into space. I have one message to take home for my team and uh, in order to motivate them it's uh, possible to actually make some, something concrete and not only talk about, so just take actions. And in one year, if everything is good, we, are, we will be in the Matterhorn building an igloo with all the things we can like on the, on the moon. Uh, I was very pleased that they are all uh, uh, very uh, motivated by the next step of uh, you know, exploration from Earth to the moon and Mars. And uh, so um, I see a number of ambassadors that are becoming de facto the moon villagers for tomorrow.